uh, this is a big blow for Jacob Zuma because the Guptas draw a very direct link between Jacob Zuma, between Jacob Zuma's son and Jacob Zuma's many children. And if the if the if the Guptas are brought back and there's sexual persecution of the Guptas, it stands then that the person who facilitated their corruption the most, which is Jacob Zuma in his time as the president, would then kind of be facing similar or even worse charges, considering that he had a constitutional mandate to actually protect South Africa from corrupt individuals. And even if we never get a penny from the Guptas or from anybody that was corrupt, the very existence of the State Capture Commission, the very existence of documented evidence that tells us how the state gets corrupted is very valuable information. And it's information that often in many countries, particularly across Africa, is never revealed and is never understood by the, by the people on the ground. And so it's groundbreaking. I think that South Africa has come to a stage where we are able to look at the Zuma years and say, this is the rot and this is the corruption that happened. The one thing that, that I think it's been very interesting to watch in terms of state capture and in terms of um, everything that has happened is that on the one hand, it actually makes me proud as a South African that we still, in spite of the state capture, in spite of everything that has happened, that we still have you know, institutions, we still have laws that in the end, eventually, even though sometimes they fail to catch people in the act, but in the end, they are able to come back and recover for us. And I